Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to learn probably the most famous intro of them all, piano players uh, intro, In the End by Linkin Park. Rock musicians definitely know that and that is the song everyone wants to play when you start off on the piano having listened to contemporary music. So I'm going to just teach you that it's super easy Get your pianos out and let's not bother too much about theory. I'm just going to show you the notes and I'm also going to make it sound very uh, very thick and very powerful. Not like the original where it's just single notes. We are going to add some chords as well to the piece. Okay, you heard the intro video. We are going to sound exactly like that. So if you haven't already, do give us a subscribe Hit that bell icon for regular notifications, give the video a like and let us know what you'd like to learn next. Let's get cracking. So the first chord or the let's start with the melody. Okay, that's the loop. It's essentially a loop as a lot of the Linkin Park songs have. You'll have like a phrase which is just looped pretty much for the whole song. So the first loop is And it just continues for the whole deal. So how do I explain that? Let's start with the notes. E flat, B flat, B flat, F sharp or G flat. So ba, 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 ba. and you want to play it lower. You want to play it higher. That's not where the loop starts. It starts here. So under middle C, lower. So D in the bass clef pretty much. Thumb, ring, ring, index could work great. So now let's proceed. F, three F, super easy. F, 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 F sharp, F, F sharp. That's a quick one. There we go. That's the loop. And now for the left hand. Left hand, we are going to play chords, but we can't play triads. It sound very muddy in the bass register. So what you could do is you could just play fifth chords or what we call as power chords. So E flat fifth, E flat B flat. So now you do D flat major. Or D flat in this case here D flat power chord so ba, 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 D flat mm, 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 mm. same loop over new chords that's a B fifth G, do, do, do. now D, back to that D flat chord D flat fifth so the left hand fifth chord passages go E flat D flat B D flat and for your information these are not very simple chords you may look at it and say oh it's a fifth chord but it actually forms an E flat minor with the melody because that's the melody the melody also harmonizes so D flat, that's a beautiful D flat in spread voicing for you. D flat, B major seventh, because it's B fifth with its third, with its major seventh. Use the pedal and ring it out. Lift the pedal, bring it back. Lift the pedal, bring it back. Loop that. You could also create some rhythmic motion by playing like an offbeat eighth note. That's what I like to do sometimes. with as much emotion as possible stop 
and then the song begins. Right guys, that was In The End by Linkin Park. Hope you found the lesson useful. Hope you can play it and perform it for all of your friends and family. I'd love to hear you play it. You can tag me on Instagram at Jason Zach or the school, Nathaniel School. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Get yourselves a copy of the notation if you wish. Support us on Patreon. You can also go to our website and learn music in a much more structured way. This is Jason Zach from Nathaniel signing off. Cheers.